one thing that kind of shook me and I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> What's up you guys? It's Kier and today I'm back with another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So glad to have you here. If you're not new, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a few things that they don't tell you about being an entrepreneur. So if you know me, you know that I just recently graduated from North Carolina A&T State University, Aggie Pride. Right after college, I decided that I was, well, not right after college, but a little bit before college was over, I decided that I was going to pursue entrepreneurship full time. Um, but you know, it wasn't my first step into being an entrepreneur. So all four years of college, I pretty much was also doing entrepreneurship, um, part-time, you know, while going to school. Uh, you know, I launched my brand like my freshman, or late freshman, early sophomore year. So I've been, I've been an entrepreneur for about four or five years now. As an entrepreneur, I have experienced a whole bunch of ups and a whole bunch of downs. So I decided to make a video to talk about what they don't tell you when it comes to entrepreneurship. Now, huge disclaimer, these are like, you know, like these are things they don't tell you. So these aren't gonna be so positive things. Like if you're wanting me to say like, oh, you know, you're gonna be a billionaire overnight. That's not what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the truth. So I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna be truthful. I'm gonna let you know what's up. I'm gonna let you know what I've been through. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the video. So one thing that they don't tell you is that you're not gonna make money right away. And when I say that, you might be like, well, you know, I'm gonna make money because I'm gonna sell stuff. Yes, you will get paid, but you will not create a profit for yourself right away. Say you open a store or you start selling services and you know, you make your first thing is like, you make $500 in a month, great. Congrats, but somebody, something's gonna have to pay for your website hosting, your domain, if you sell products, your products, your shipping, your inventory, marketing, advertising, you get what I'm saying? Everything isn't gonna go straight to your pockets. You're gonna have to reinvest a lot in your business and you probably won't see a profit right away. And that's okay. Um, if you don't see a profit right away, don't panic. A lot of entrepreneurs, actually a whole bunch of, like if you're doing everything right, you probably won't see profit right away. Unless you just have really low profit margins, which we can talk about in a whole different video. You won't be able to pocket everything that you earn. I don't think you ever will be able to pocket everything that you earn. If you actually wanna do business right, you gotta set aside money for taxes and emergencies and all this other stuff. Like when I get paid more than a thousand dollars in an invoice, I'm just like, you know what? Realistically, I probably just made about $500 that I can pocket because I know that I have to pay for all these different services that I use to help run my business. And I'm not gonna be able to pocket this whole $1,500 invoice, right? So yeah, like I said, you won't make money right away and it's not a bad thing. It's just one of the things that comes with running a business. The next thing that they don't tell you about entrepreneurship is that you will experience more no's than yeses. These are honestly probably blessings in disguise because you don't want everybody to say yes to you. You don't want to be able to, you know, attract everybody because somebody's gonna drive you insane when it comes to running your business. Um, but as far as business opportunities go and pitching yourself to sell your services or your products to some people, some people just simply aren't your audience and that's okay. When it comes to, you know, like partnerships, people that you might look up to and you're like, oh, I wanna work with them, I'm gonna pitch them, you're gonna get some no's. And that's common, like everything isn't gonna go your way. But if anything, it just makes you more persistent. And then when you do get that yes, you're gonna feel like so great because you're like all these no's that I got. Like you're truly gonna have a testimony because you're gonna be like, I got a hundred no's before I got this one yes. But this one yes, listen, when you get that one yes, it turned into like a whole bunch of other yeses. And then you, you, know, you still get your no's because it just comes with the territory. But those yeses, they're worth it. They're worth, they're worth all the no's. So take your no's, but don't take them hard. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just, you know, get ready for that yes. Because when you have those no's, it's just preparing you for your next yes. So another thing that they don't tell you about entrepreneurship is that it can be emotionally and mentally taxing. Anything can be emotionally and mentally taxing. You know, if you have a nine to five job, that's probably emotionally and mentally taxing. But there's just something about entrepreneurship that like, I don't know if it's, like the uncertainty, 
of not having like maybe like a steady income or you know not feeling like you're doing enough but there are going to be some factors that attribute to you being like emotionally and mentally drained like there are some days that I finish the day and I'm just like I feel like the color gray like I just feel like Ugh. and if you're not careful with that like it can turn into like a not so good long-term effect so you just have to be very cautious about your mental and emotional health making sure that you you know you're taking mental health days that you're not constantly overwhelming yourself with entrepreneurship work and that you know you're taking a break getting exercise eating right drinking your water eating your vegetables all those positive things that are good for your mind and emotions make sure you do that because if you don't have that and then you're putting on all this emotional and mental weight on yourself, it's not going to be good in the end. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself because it, it can be very taxing. Whew, another, this thing that they don't tell you is one thing that kind of shook me and I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> so the next thing that they don't tell you about being an entrepreneur is that it's lonely. So whether you have friends, so for me, okay, for me, I'm a recent graduate, right? So all my friends, you know, they got job offers, people are going to grad school, everybody's doing their thing from nine to five, and I'm like, yeah, I'm sitting in the house, <laughs> like, I'm checking my friend's location, they're at work, and I'm like, I haven't left my apartment in two weeks. <laughs> it can be very lonely, especially if you have people who, who work a lot or who, um, you know, are in school. So like when you're, you know, you're working, you might have like a small 15 minute break because you're an entrepreneur, you can do that. You're not, nobody's telling you, hey, get to work. So you might be like on Twitter and you might be trying to send like memes to your friends and nobody's gonna respond because they're at work being an adult. And you're like, why won't anybody talk to me? <laughs> Or, you know, your significant other leaves you every day to go to work and you're just like, wow, are you, do you really have to go? Like, why can't you sit, stay here and do what I do? They're like, somebody got to bring in a consistent income and you're like, you know what? You are absolutely correct. So yeah, it can get lonely. But one thing that I found is other entrepreneur friends or, you know, following other entrepreneurs and just keeping up with them day to day, like on social media. Um, it's super easy to just kind of find your find your entrepreneur tribe and you know keep in contact with them during the day whether it's mentioning each other on Twitter um, you know hitting their phone number and texting them or just setting up like maybe some zoom calls every week and just checking in you got to find your entrepreneur tribe of people who are also lonely and you know it'll it'll set it'll settle that loneliness but don't don't let yourself get stuck and be like oh you know I only do work I don't talk to nobody I don't even talk to my friends because they don't want to talk to me because they at work. Like, no, that's that's not what we're gonna do. But you are gonna acknowledge that it can be lonely. And you're gonna work to fix it. And then the last thing that they don't tell you about entrepreneurship is that it can't be done alone. So as much as you wanna try and do everything yourself, you wanna be the CEO, you wanna be the marketer, you wanna be the accountant, you wanna be the social media um, person, you wanna be the ads manager, you wanna be the copywriter, you wanna be the web designer, you wanna be the, you get what I'm saying, you wanna be all of that. As much as you wanna do that, it cannot be done by one person in its entirety. Now, when you first start now, and you know, you don't have a huge demand for things, or you know, you're just kind of taking things slow, all of that can be done by one person. I won't say that it can't be done by one person, but when you grow and you reach this new level, there becomes a time where you actually need to be a CEO, or you need to be an owner, or you need to be a manager, where you need to delegate tax, and you need to hire people. So you might hire a copywriter to write like a sales page for you, or you might write, you might hire a social media person to create like a social media plan for you and post for you or even a, it might even be a web designer because you might be like you know what forget this stuff i need to work on my clients i don't have time to work on myself so one thing i see with a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of like service-based providers is that they're so busy catering to their clients and you know make sure their clients are good that they're sometimes neglecting their own brands and that's where you know, hiring contractors or hiring other entrepreneurs to help you with your brand comes in handy. So, you know, when you grow to a new level and you feel like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed, like, I don't feel like I'm catering to my, my baby, the one that I've been raising all these years, you know, I'm helping everybody else, then that might mean it's a time for you to hire somebody else. <laughs> so yeah, it can it can and it can't be done alone. You just have to know when, when it's time to switch. When it's time to turn that switch off and go hire somebody, because... 
you you doing it by yourself is gonna cost you more money in the long run so save your money save your time and save your sanity and so you guys those are some things that they don't tell you about being an entrepreneur i hope you guys found this video super useful and insightful so many things that they don't tell you about being an entrepreneur but they're the only way to find them all out is to become one so let me know in the comments you know what you do if you're an entrepreneur plug yourself in the comments if you're not and you're just kind of getting started let me know i'm excited to connect with you all if you like me and my personality and this content hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads and if you're feeling like real good if you feel real good hit the share button on this video share it to any social media or take a screenshot and post it um post it to your instagram story be like yo she dropped some great tips uh tag me it's at underscore kiera nelson on all socials and i'll be sure to repost them but if you really did like my videos uh i have a few more you can watch in the box yeah you can watch those thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye